Massive news today. The Seminoles land five-star cornerback Charles Lester. The saga is over. Travis Hunter, derangement syndrome, should be over for Florida State as they go head-to-head with Deion Sanders, Colorado Buffaloes, shove Deion into a locker, and land another five-star commit in this 2024 class. I've told you this before on this channel, and we'll jump into everything in just a moment, but only eight teams last year in the 247 composite had multiple five stars committed to them. Florida State is putting themselves in excellent position to have an elite class with a long way to go until signing day, having now two five stars committed and a quarterback who is in five star range and on threes ratings and who could get another bump when 247 re releases their rankings. Florida State's class is teetering on the verge of elite and picking up the five-star cornerback Charles Lester tonight only adds to it. Lester is out of Sarasota, Florida, goes to Venice High School, just recently transferred from there. He is ranked the number 19 overall player in the country, according to the 247 Sports Composite, and he is the number 16 player in the country, according to On3. Florida State went up against Georgia, Alabama, and Colorado to land Lester's commitment. We're going to talk about Colorado in just a moment because I know this week a lot of you guys have had PTHSD, which we'll get to in just a second. But first, it cannot be understated how good of a job Florida State and this staff did against the elites of college football. Charles Lester was rumored to be in it uh, with schools like Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, Florida was certainly in the mix at one point, and the elites of college football wanted Charles Lester. And Florida State did a good job of continuing to hone that relationship when a new competitor came in trying to get him to waver off of that relationship and maybe go out west. Florida State did a good job of shutting that down as well. FSU needs to keep elite talent home. They've got an elite Florida prospect last year in Hakeem Williams, and they're trying to add to that as much as they can here in 2023. Lester is the number two corner in the country, and he's the number four player overall in the state of Florida. We have covered this throughout the week, and we've done several videos on it, and we've mentioned it just about every time we've come on to this channel to talk to you guys. But in our Discord, we've broken it down on almost like an hourly basis. So if you're not part of our Discord, you need to join that group right now. I'm going to link it above as we're chatting right now, but I'll also put it in the comments and in the description how you can get access to that exclusive info. Florida State's probably getting another commit tomorrow, and if you want to know who that is, you need to go sign up. What is FSU getting in Charles Lester? Well, outside of one of the most elite defensive backs in the country, a whole lot. Lester's listed at 6'1", 171 pounds. He's got phenomenal length, and he moves super, super well for his size. He's very rangy, and he's got good strength for being a defensive back. His athleticism is off the charts, and his man-to-man ability of just being an absolute shutdown corner is insane as well. Played both ways a lot at times last season in high school. Obviously, Florida State likes him as cornerback. He's talked about wanting to play wide receiver some too. Wouldn't be super shocked if that's something that Florida State may be able to wrinkle in or use some gadget type stuff. But he's a pretty elite athlete on that side of the ball as well. Had 30 catches and four touchdowns on offense for his high school last season. Okay, we've been holding this back, but we're going to talk about it. Let's chat about Colorado's place in all of this. But first, let's give some love to our friends over at thegramco.com. Listen, if you're celebrating this commitment, if you're enjoying your night, if you're just having a bunch of fun, listen, you should be celebrating FSU commitments with a Gramco gummy or two. Go to thegramco.com right now. Use TJ25 for checkout. You get 25% off your order. You won't find deals like that anywhere else. Thegramco.com, the number one source for all Delta A products. I'm telling you, they would be enhancing your celebration right now if you were on their products. Make sure that you don't miss out the next time Florida State gets a commit, thegramco.com. Okay, so this Colorado visit, we told you guys about it, and we let you know that the visit was going to take place about a week ago, but we told you at that time that Florida State still felt extremely confident about this commitment. 
We can now talk about this now that Lester has committed, but there were a couple of things that we had been told in confidence and told not to release that still made us extremely confident that Charles Lester would in fact commit to the Seminoles. The first of those two things was that Luke Cromanock, Florida State's quarterback commit, and some of his family would be traveling down to Sarasota and were in fact in attendance at Lester's commitment ceremony. We understood that this was the plan for the entire last week. We kept alluding to something that would happen that would come out. Eventually, Zach Blostein of Knowles 247 did eventually put that out today once he had confirmed that they were on the road and heading down to Sarasota. Heard Luke wasn't feeling super well this week, so shout out Luke. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Tonight, I'm sure you do feel better after you just picked up a five-star DB for your class, but I do think that once we found that out. Once we knew about that, we tried to allude to the fact that something would be coming out that would maybe ease Florida State fans' minds somewhat. Now, that didn't come out until the, earlier today, earlier on Friday. But I do think that that was something that you didn't see a lot of panic from those who cover FSU or those who were in the know because they knew what the ultimate plan was here. You also look at things, the fact that as far as I'm concerned, and as far as I know, I've been told by a couple of sources, Charles Lester is expected to be in Tallahassee tomorrow for the Seminole Showcase. I would anticipate that he will make his way up to Tallahassee. I think that his date was somewhat coordinated with the fact that Florida State is hosting a ton of recruits. I think he'll be there recruiting this weekend, and so I am excited for that as well. When I knew those two things, when I knew that Charles Lester was expected in Tallahassee this weekend, and that Luke Cromanhawk was going to be in attendance, I did not think that we would see him commit to Colorado and then Luke be sitting right there in the front row or him be a Colorado commit at a Florida State event the very next day. This eased my mind a ton. And I think that that Colorado visit had a lot to do with two things. Number one, trying to build suspense around this commitment that just happened tonight, trying to get people to think, oh, maybe there's a chance that Coach Prime could pull Charles Lester, which he obviously could not. And then number two, I think he also did go out there to get some of his buddies uh, an offer. I saw some of the other guys that had gone out to Colorado with him, whether they be from Venice or wherever, also got some offers while they were out there. So it maybe speaks to the character of Charles Lester just a bit. In our last video, we talked about why this would not be the Travis Hunter situation part two. And here's why that is. We, we told you that once he committed, we would tell you some of this stuff. First of all, I want to tell you, Florida State's NIL game has completely stepped up and transformed itself. And I think that the knowledge that guys have that when they get to college, they are going to absolutely be taken care of. And they see the kind of deals that people like Johnny Wilson and Jared Verse and, of course, Jordan Travis are getting right now from the battle's end. I think that the NIL place that – we are in at this moment as Florida State Seminoles football fans is in such a better place. I think commits, recruits see that as well. If you are celebrating this video, if you're celebrating getting a five-star and enjoying this commitment, and you're not signed up for the battle's end, that should absolutely be a place that you should be supporting. And if you want to continue to bring top talent and attract top talent to Florida State University, you ought to be giving back to not only our boosters, but to the battle's end. Relationships are something that's much better this time around. The communication level that Charles Lester had with Florida State, the honesty, the transparency, letting them know what his plan was, letting him know letting them know that he was going to take this visit, but that they ultimately was going to commit to the Seminoles. I think it's something that they did not get the last time around when Florida State went head-to-head -head for a defensive back with Deion Sanders. And then Florida State wasn't blindsided here. I think it's one of those situations where you fool me once. Okay, good on you. You're not going to fool me a second time. And I think Florida State knew what they were dealing with at this moment. Uh, I don't think they understood quite what Deion Sanders could do when Travis Hunter flipped to Jackson State. Some of that may be on them, but I think that that is why it was such a different situation this time than it was last time. A little bit of a Sertan effect here, right? Pat Sertan's been on campus for about six months now, uh, but Lester has been on Florida State's campus probably just as much as Pat Sertan has at this moment. It's taken nine or ten visits to Tallahassee, and Lester had been on Florida State's campus a lot before Sertain was even hired. And FSU were already was already in a good spot for his services. But if we look back at some of the other guys who were committed to FSU or maybe on the board when Sertain was hired, they're no longer being recruited by Florida State. And one has even decommitted. They just didn't vibe. They just didn't gel right. And that would have been a major concern that a lot of people may have had with Charles Lester. Would he vibe with Pat Sertain? Well, they did. And obviously the relationship there is very good, but massive credit to Mike Norvell 
who was instrumental in this recruitment and who was massive for the Knowles to help bridge that gap and help Charles Lester understand that, no, no, this guy is going to develop you and he is going to make you into an NFL draft pick and a star at the, at the next level. And so big, big props to Pat Sertain, big, big props to Mike Norvell. Uh, hopefully you've already retweeted the Mike Norvell tweet that's come out with uh, Osceola planting the spear. I am super excited. I know Mike Norvell is on this as well. We told you that Sertain would be an elite developer, and now he has a blue chip, a five-star recruit at Florida State just a couple months after getting to campus. Yet again, we've told you this in the past as well, but there was a narrative around Mike Norvell that he just couldn't land guys, that he just couldn't be an elite recruiter, and now he's got a couple of five stars on his commit list and could be adding more very soon some that are already on his commit list that look like they're going to become five stars and others who may be deciding for the Knowles in the very near future. Lester is Florida State's second five star. And can they get another one in the very, very next week? Well, there's another big time commitment of another five star DB in KJ Bolden that we've talked about at length. He's a five star safety out of Buford, Georgia. That's right down the road from UGA right in the dog's backyard. And the Knowles seem to be picking up a ton of steam. We've given some notes and we've shared some things again with our exclusive subscribers. They're in our Discord. Link will be in the comments and description. But if you're not part of that, you need to go join so that you can get caught up on everything there. We also spoke with you guys earlier today about Bolden and who is likely going to commit to the Florida State Seminoles next. And you can see that information by clicking right here.